Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Bunting, and today I'm going to be talking about the truth about acids in skincare. Now, acids are an ingredient group that are talked about a lot at the moment in beauty, and the truth of the matter is that lots of useful skincare ingredients that we use are in fact acids. Perhaps the commonest group that are referred to are the alpha hydroxy acids. So when you hear the term acid toning, for instance, it usually refers to this group of molecules. And perhaps the commonest that's used is something called glycolic acid. Now, at the most basic level, what an acid will do to the skin is to dissolve the chemical bonds between skin cells on the surface, breaking them apart and allowing them to come away. So it uses chemistry to exfoliate rather than the perhaps slightly cruder tool that is physical exfoliation where you literally abrade them away. So they're very popular. Now, what is all the fuss about? What do they do to the skin? Well, what they actually do is to remove the dead outermost layer of the skin, the part that's called the stratum corneum, uh, and what that reveals are the juicier, more light reflective cells underneath. Now, of course, this has to be done with balance because that outermost layer is there for a reason. It keeps the badness out, so to speak. So it's part of our skin's essential barrier function. So it's important to get this process of exfoliation right to get the most out of your skincare and to make your skin look its best, but also to do no harm and create issues like sensitivity. Now, my favorite acids, and there are probably five I'm going to talk about today, are all acids in the true sense of the word. That means they will ch chemically exfoliate, but they have added benefits. And for me, that's a winning situation. So I'm gonna talk through them each one by one. Ascorbic acid, which is better known as vitamin C, is a great all-rounder that's well tolerated in lots of different skin types. And it's good for pigmentation prone skin. It's an excellent antioxidant as it mops up those harmful re free radicals that will degrade our collagen and elastin. And it's also a good anti-inflammatory. Azelaic acid is not only a great chemical exfoliant, it's also really helpful at reducing the tendency for the skin to produce too much melanin, as we see in conditions like melasma. It's great in those who are acne prone as it helps reduce comedone formation, so keeping pores unclogged, and also acts as an anti-inflammatory to reduce existing blemishes. Finally, it's also useful in those who are redness prone, and given that it's quite common to get two or even three of these issues coexisting together, this is a really good multitasking agent. And the final benefit is it's suitable for not only those who are breastfeeding, but also those who are pregnant. So it's a winner. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, which means it's going to be a good chemical exfoliant. But the added bonus is it's also a humectant, which means that it's going to be helpful in those who've got a tendency to dry skin. So in those who are dry but dull, which is a, a difficult one sometimes to manage, lactic acid can be a really useful ingredient to add. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid rather than an alpha hydroxy acid. So it will exfoliate, but the key property here is that it's fat soluble, where alpha hydroxy acids are water soluble. So that means that AHAs aren't very good at getting into pores. So in acne prone skin, this is a very useful property because the pore is a natural oily environment, um, which means the beta hydroxy acid can get in there and exfoliate the lining of the pore, which helps unclog those who are acne prone. Retinoic acid, uh, otherwise known as Retin-A or Tretinoin, um, is a member of the retinoid family and it's probably the most useful acid that we have. Uh, it not only exfoliates, but it literally stimulates most aspects of skin function, both epidermis in terms of texture and tone of the skin, the dermis, collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid production, and it helps manage pigmentation issues as well as also stopping us from getting acne. 
Um, so retinoic acid is the most potent retinoid that we have access to, but over the counter, we do um, have molecules like retinol, retinaldehyde, and retinol palmitate, which the skin will convert into that ultimate active molecule retinoic acid. So they have similar potential, albeit in a weaker format. So retinoids are a group of molecules which are essential to good skin, provided you're not pregnant or suffering from an acute inflammatory skin problem. And we will go into this at a later point in time. As a final note, I think it's important to realize that all acids are not equal. And it's important to get to know a little bit about the ingredients in order to understand what will work best for you. And I think it's also important to bear in mind that if you want to get the most out of these ingredients, that choosing a leave-on product with a specific amount of that particular active is also a good step. If you want to combine acids, and certainly that's something I do on a daily basis for my patients, it needs to be done with care to ensure that one active ingredient isn't inactivating another or we're still creating potential for significant irritancy. There's no doubt that combining alpha hydroxy acids and retinoic acid, for instance, will make a big difference to skin, but it's better to split them and use your AHAs in the morning, your retinoid at night. Um, to minimize potential for reactions, um, but certainly there's no doubt that topical alpha hydroxy acids will improve the penetration of retinoids. I think this is an area that can be very consuming and potentially fraught for consumers, and I think it is an area where expert advice from a cosmetic dermatologist will be worthwhile, even if just for one visit, to help you understand what is the best approach to your skin, because ultimately all of this is very much individual. I hope that's been useful. Please do check out the description box below for some product suggestions and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.